We are here. Hey, everyone, come on in. It's my favorite time of the week. Absolute favorite time because you guys know what this says. This is Monday motivating for your NCLEX exam. Or if you're in nursing school, just hang out because of the coronavirus. You are in the place to be. We have so much to talk about. I have some amazing new learning opportunities for you if you are ready to continue to study. Let's be nurses. So this is um, Let's Talk NCLEX slash Monday Motivation. As always, we will be bringing you, we will be bringing you med surge NCLEX questions. Get ready for them. I do have five of them today. I'm so happy about that. Um, also, our Monday Motivation will be most over now and what that means for you. Hi, come on in everyone. Um, hey, have you heard about our latest, most amazing event? Remar Nurse University is back and we will be studying, yes, you read it right, pharmacology. And that will begin this month on the 18th. So if you have not signed up for it, I'm gonna show you how to do that in just a second here. But I wanted to tackle the most difficult topic. We do Remar Nurse and if you haven't ever been to one before, this I think is going to be the best one I have ever done because pharmacology is such a difficult topic. And what I found myself doing as I was preparing the workbook for you guys and trying to finalize it is if there was so much anatomy review that I had to go over and prepare for you guys so that you could actually understand pharmacology. Pharmacology is so based in anatomy that it's insane. And so we're going to spend a lot of time talking about general anatomy, and then that's going to help you to understand these medications. Finally, finally, finally. So um, the topics that we will be looking at specifically for the pharmacology review will be uh, the nervous system medications. These are particularly challenging, uh, the pain management, the opioids, the over-the-counter, psychiatric medications, tough. All right. Um, the insulins and the oral anti-diabetics. I'm going over these medications because there's so much safety involved. If you don't give insulin properly, you can literally kill your patient. And so it's the same for all of the medications that I'm focusing on. There's so much education that has to be done that we need to review it. TPN, like you've never seen it before. Antibiotics, blood products, and just medication uh, in general, just this medication administration in general. So we announced the, if you haven't signed, signed up for it, you wanna make sure that you do this today. We announced that we were doing a pharmacology review <laughs> and literally over 3,000 nurses, 3,200 nurses have signed up for Remar Review, uh, Remar Nurse University uh, since our, 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 our announcement on Monday, which is amazing. And it just shows you how important this topic will be. We will be releasing that PDF workbook this week. Again, it's for free. All right. This is a free event. So the workbook, you will need it to attend this course. You will not be able to do this course without the workbook. So that's why I'm saying you got to sign up. Uh, we also are still doing the 75% off of the VT, but we will be stopping the free shipping soon. So if you wanted to give VT this week, this is the time to get that. Because if you don't, if you wait till RNU starts or later, you have to pay for shipping. So it's just a little bonus. Um, and, and again, this event, will be life-changing. So right now, I need you guys to sign up for it, okay? And this is where you'll be able to download your workbook. We'll be dropping that this week. But the website is simple. It's really just rnu, uh, I'm sorry, remarnurse.com forward slash rnu, all right? So sign up for that, remarnurse.com forward slash rnu. If you have the virtual trainer, I will put the book in the VT, but it's not in there now. So sign up for it. One of the questions that I'm getting is, hey, I'm already studying in the VT. Do I need to attend this pharmacology review? Uh, and my answer to that is yes. All right. Oh, and I'm only saying that because everything that I'm doing for Remar Nurse University is brand new. And so um, if you have the time, if you can attend, all you have to do is show up for class. If you guys just show up for class, I promise you, you will learn. All right. 
That is my goal. So attend this free class, download the workbook. It will save you so much time studying on your own. So like, these are your two options. You can study pharmacology with uh, somebody else and listen to the same old, same old and be told to just memorize a list of classes and medications because that's how people typically teach pharmacology or you can attend RNU. I will lay this topic out for you so easily that even if you are four years old, you will be able to understand and give these medications properly. So those are your two choices. Either do it the hard way or attend Reed Martyrs University and do it the easy way. So I'm encouraging you guys, if pharmacology is your weakest area, you need to be here. Even if you have the VT, this is a free event that you can study personally with me. And um, like we said, we had over 3,000 nurses sign up for it. So I know that this is a meaningful topic. I know that this is a meaningful topic. Um, so, A, Remar Nurse University, the next best event that Remar Review has coming out. You don't want to miss it. Uh, we have a testimonial says, I, I attended all Remar Nurse University classes last year. I did my test after the end of the training, June 4th, 2019. Guess what? I passed because some answers were standing out. I could hear Regina's explanation at the back of my head. I love that. I love when you guys <laughs> say that you hear my voice during your exam. Well, let's not wait any further. I hope you hear my voice right now because I'm about to give you some NCLEX questions and I want you to know the answers to them. Here's the first one. A client presents to a clinic with symptoms of chronic sinusitis. Um, which symptom that the client reports does the nurse recognize as unrelated to sinusitis? Okay. Is it number one, purulent nasal discharge, two, a nagging cough, three, end of the day headache, or four, loss of smell, okay? So we're talking about which is not related to sinusitis, okay? All right, oh, I'm so happy. I see the answers rolling, rolling, rolling in. Hey, if you're watching this on YouTube and you have not subscribed to this channel, you need to subscribe to this channel because I will be doing pop-up reviews, events all the time and you will miss them. And they will just be rolling, rolling, rolling in and you will miss opportunities to study. Also Facebook too, we have a whole bunch of Facebook likes. So just keep helping us to build that number. All right. Okay. The correct answer, the correct answer. I'm so glad you're here. RN or PN, you need to know this. Come on in, join, join now. All right. The correct answer is end of the day headache. Okay. End of the day headache. So headaches are very common. I anybody who has sinuses knows that you will have a headache, right? But generally the headache from the sinusitis is when you first wake up in the morning, right? It's after laying down for a while, do you have the headache? It's not at the end of the day. It's at the beginning of the day when you first wake up, when you first wake up. Um, so if you, let me just pause for a moment to explain this. If you think about the sinuses, what are the sinuses? Okay. So the sinuses are literally holes in your skull, right? You have these airways through the skull. And so when these airways get inflamed, drainage and mucus tends to go there right? Whenever you have, essentially, when you have a sinus infection, if I say sinus infection, more people are probably more familiar with the, the symptoms that you will have when you have a sinus infection. So you do have, you know, the drainage out of your nose and you have the drainage in the back of your throat. They call that the post-nasal drip. And so the post-nasal drip, when you have that post-nasal drip, it does produce a cough. 
it does produce a cough. All right. Um, and then what else do you have, right? When you, when you have a sinus congestion, you have a headache because you're like, oh my goodness, the pressure, the pressure. So these are things that we would expect, but somebody saying, oh, you know, I, I'm fine all day. And then right before I go to bed, I have this headache. Like I have this major headache. Uh, we wouldn't expect that with a sinus infection, all right? And that's all the sinusitis is. So take a couple of minutes, look that up, and just familiarize yourself with sinus infections if you didn't get this one right. And this is why we come here to look at questions to just test our content knowledge because at the end of the day, the content is what saves you with any nursing exam. I know I have a lot of nursing students here um, that are not in school right now joining us. Hey, we're going over we're going over nursing information. Second question here. All right. So a nurse, that's you, is caring for a client. Um, it says a client with who has not eaten or drank in three days. All right. Which laboratory value is the priority for the nurse? So this is looking at your client's labs. What are we most worried about? OK. Um, <laughs> all right. Serum sodium, 150. Serum potassium, 4.3. Serum zinc, 1.0. And or serum albumin, 4.0. Hmm. What are we worried about here? We have a client who has not eaten or drank anything in three days. I'm so happy you guys are joining me today on this Monday. You know, when you're in the house all the time, you get kind of lonely and you wonder, hey, does anybody remember me? And so when I jump on here for Monday Motivations, it's so good seeing you guys here with me. Some people are saying albumin. Some people are saying sodium. OK, so it's between one and four. I love it. I love this. So we have um, down to two, which is common. So actually, the correct answer, the correct answer is going to be number Oh, yes, that number one. Hey, your patient the sodium level is way too high. Looks like this patient is dehydrated. And normally, you guys, um, and I, I, I knew what you were thinking when you chose number four, okay? Yes, you have to go with your gut. Always have to go with your gut. For you guys who chose number four, I knew what you were thinking because normally, and I have said this myself, if you want to look at the long-term, you know, history of your patient's nutritional status, the albumin is perfect for that. Somebody's protein level will show you how they've been eating if they are malnourished. But here, look at the patient, okay? Look at the patient. Um, it's just three days, okay? It's just three days. Um, and so we are worried about a dehydration first, OK, because you lose water very quickly. You lose water very, very quickly. So this patient, this is just an abnormal value. And then this is how I tell you guys, you know, the content and just knowing basic information is really what gets you through the NCLEX exam, because I can take any kind of look at this. This is just basic lab values. I can write any kind of scenario regarding laboratory values. So somebody said, yes, you said that. So for me, when I was taking my NCLEX and you know, you get the whiteboard and you can write stuff on it. I wrote my laboratory values on that board. Like that's what I wrote down because um, when you're nervous and anxious, those little numbers, sometimes you can forget them. So I remember writing down potassium, like chloride, magnesium. And it seems simple right now, but when you're under pressure, whew, you got to remember those things. Let's try another one. Try to go with your gut, okay? Try to go with your gut. Okay. We'll be talking about this topic for Remar Nurse University. A client initiating a basal bolus insulin regimen should expect which of the following as a part of treatment 
for diabetes mellitus type two. Woo, this is a good one. All right, let me read that again. A client initiating a basal bolus insulin regimen should expect which of the following as a part of treatment for diabetes mellitus type two. Number one says clients should not use basal bolus insulin therapy. Is that true for type two diabetics? Should not use it. Um, clients should monitor their blood glucose levels frequently. Three, insulin therapy should be initiated with 30 units of long-term therapy. Okay. So that means long-term insulin, long-term therapy. Four, simple sugars should be the main step of the dietary plan. Okay. All right. So what do you guys think about this? What do you guys know about basal bolus insulin? Does that mean anything to you? Okay, I see a lot of ones and I see a lot of twos. Oh, this is good. I'm, oh man, this is one of my favorite topics in Remar Nurse University, going over the insulins. We're gonna talk about all the different types of insulins, the insulin pumps, the insulin pills. Oh, it's gonna be so good. I don't want you guys to miss it. Okay, so the answers are rolling, rolling, rolling in. A lot of ones and twos. The correct answer, however, when you talk about the diabetic patient, this one is pretty simple. The best thing that we tell our patients for sure, whether you're type one or type two, is that number two, you will absolutely, you should absolutely, okay, um, be monitoring your, 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 your blood glucose levels frequently. OK, um, basal bolus insulin is very common. It's very common. This just essentially means that there's two types of insulin given. And in type two diabetics, you see that that's common. All right. <laughs> Ketuan, get off my lap. Uh, three, insulin therapy should be initiated with 30 units of long term therapy. No, 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 no. We never want to give diabetic patients that much insulin like at, and, and, and no, 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 no. We never initiate it with that much. And the number four says simple sugars are the main step of the therapy. So simple sugars and diabetes is like um, pastries, cakes, candy, do we tell our diabetics to consume a lot of simple sugars? No, not at all. We tell them just like we would tell anybody else. Carbohydrates are the best for you. Those complex carbohydrates, sweet potatoes, right? Things that give you energy for a long period of time. So this is why the best answer here is definitely number two. All right, let's try um, another question just to see how you guys are doing. It says here, the nurse is reading a diagnostic report that states Mr. White has increasing intraocular pressure, which damages the retina and optic nerve. Oh, my goodness. OK, the result is left eye blindness. The nurse should expect which condition. All right. Is it glaucoma? Number one, two and astigmatism, three, is this cataract, or four, is this retinal detachment? Hey, we got over 500 nurses on Facebook, and we got almost 300 on YouTube studying on a Monday. Pow, this is the largest nursing class right now on the planet. I don't even have to count it. This is it right here. Okay. So this is a very easy, straightforward question, okay? This is a very easy and straightforward question because it's really just definition-based. So which eye condition causes increased intraocular pressure? Uh, hands down, we know that this is number one, glaucoma. Yes, glaucoma is the eye disease 
that causes intraocular pressure, okay? Um, increasing, an increasing intraocular pressure that will result in blindness if you don't take care of it. Yeah, it will result in blindness if you don't take care of it. So did you get that one right? Did you get that one right? I tried to throw in a whole bunch of information that would confuse you or make you think, ah, should I second guess myself? Don't ever second guess yourself on exams. Go with your first instinct, okay? All right, last question, and then we'll get into our Monday motivation and some other topics that you guys wanna ask me about. I have seen them, all right? Our last question is this, okay? All right, question number five. Our, a nurse is caring for a client who reports pain in the right calf when climbing five or more stairs. The pain is relieved mm -hmm, when the client returns to rest. The nurse is aware the client is most likely experiencing, is it number one, venous insufficiency, two, claudication, three, muscle cramps, or four, exercise in tolerance. Okay, those are your options. What do you think? Okay, what do you think based off of this client, based off of what they are experiencing, they're having pain, but then it stops when they rest. Does anybody, is anybody familiar with this? Okay, yeah, okay, I see it. I see, I see it on um, YouTube has it for sure. Anybody know what this is? <laughs> okay, all right. So the correct answer for this one the correct answer for this one is going to be, uh, here we go. This is claudication. This is claudication. And with intermittent claudication, you literally have an uh, ischemia to the muscles. And so they're not getting the perfusion. And this pain happens when they're trying to do something that causes an exertion. So any kind of activity, exercise, the, the muscles will start to hurt and they'll start to say, hey, 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 what is going on? We don't have enough oxygen to carry out this disease. I mean, to carry out this activity. So um, claudication is actually considered a peripheral artery disease. It's a peripheral artery disease. So you don't have the arterial, you know, the, ar the arteries bring the good stuff. And so when you don't have that arterial supply, then it's very difficult for you to do anything as far as muscles go. So kind of like when your stomach growls, when you're hungry and your stomach is like, hey, I'm empty down here. I'm hungry. Um, the muscles do the same thing. The muscles will begin to ache. They'll begin to cry out like I don't have what I need. It's the same thing with the heart attack. Like when your heart um, is, is not uh, profuse with oxygen, it'll begin to hurt. And so you see this with the claudication. They'll, they'll call it intermittent claudication there. So I hope you were familiar with that term. And if you weren't, hey, you learned something new. You, you learned something new. And that is what we do here. All right. That's what we do. So I wanted to transition now into our Monday motivation. Hey, I want to tra transition now into our Monday motivation. If you haven't got the VT, now is the time. People have been asking, what is the price? Um, you know, where can I get it from? You can always get it from remarnurse.com. That is our home website. That is where all the information is about everything that I have and do. And then um, we're doing the free shipping still. If you already have my favorite book, Five Star Quick Facts, this book right here, all right, this is that book. If you have this book, then the VT is uh, only one twenty nine. But make sure you have the um, the version with the five stars on top. All right, and so 
thinking about pharmacology, this book is perfect if you are getting ready to prep for RNU. All right. So um, again, this is the current price for the VT, the VT. Alisa says, I pass. Thank you, Remar Review. I'm a Remar nurse. Ga graduated, graduated eight years ago, okay? Um, 2012, seventh attempt to taking NCLEX. That is a testimony right there. Um, seventh attempt to taking NCLEX. I tried all the others and nothing works like Remar. Thank you. She says, thank you, Regina and Mark. Alisa um, Rodriguez. RN BSN. And don't forget, you guys, don't forget, you guys, when you send in your testimonial video or do things, we have the Remar shirt here. Um, this is one of my favorite designs. We have a couple different Remar shirts, but when you send in your testimonial video, you get the with God that really it takes a higher power than yourself to really overcome these challenges that some of you guys are in. Oh my goodness. Um, and so we believe that that's our testimony. And so we give these shirts. Remar nurses, get your shirt today. Pass in Clex, tell your testimony, send it to us and we'll see it and we'll send you out a shirt. Okay. All right. 6,800 nurses are actually joining me right now, studying in the virtual trainer. That's 6,800 shirts I need to be ready to send out, which I'm, I'm prepared to do, okay? I really am. We are in the midst of everybody getting ready to study for NCLEX, getting ready to pass their exam, but I got this. And I don't know if you guys have seen it, but Pearson View is still canceling people's NCLEX dates. Yes, still canceling. So I got a couple posts in the Remar Nurse Study Group as well as in my email. Hello, Remar family. I look at my email and I have to reschedule again. This is breaking my spirits. I do trust God, but it's hard keeping motivation through this time. And I totally understand. I mean, there's some there's some people watching this that have had their tests canceled too. And I know... I know, I know, I know that you guys are feeling very down about this and it is discouraging. I mean, can you imagine having the, the test date, getting all you have taken English proficiency exams, you have waited six months, seven months to have your paperwork reviewed and you get your test date and then two days before the test date, you, you get a cancellation notice or two days before your, you know, you think you're going to catch a drive to another city. You can't go. It is so discouraging. And my heart really goes out to all of my nursing students who have dealt with this because it's traumatizing. It's traumatizing when you're in the middle of being so dedicated to something and then something and then somebody comes in and just takes that thing away from you. And so the Monday motivation for today is particularly because of this experience. And even if you haven't particularly experienced this, yeah, some people are saying, yeah, mine was canceled too. I've been canceled twice. Yeah, some people have been canceled two times. And so, you know, even if you haven't experienced this you can empathize with what it feels like. You know, nobody wants this to happen to them. And so, you know, when we have our, you know, our Remar family going through this, it's like, man, I know that's tough. Like, I know that that is very hard for you to get up and want to study the next day. And um, I was just really leery because just when, you know, we were hearing that, oh, everything is good, everything is getting better, and we're opening up more exams, and then this happens again. And so we just got to be like, just prepared for whatever. We got to be prepared for whatever. But um, the Monday motivation is most over now. And most over now, it's just, too, it's just a principle. Because when I look at the Remar nurses in general, you know, trying to get your nursing license right now is very hard. It is very hard. We are in a worldwide global pandemic. I have never seen anything like this in my life. I've never experienced anything like this in my life where you're afraid to go to the, the grocery store or Walmart because you don't want to get sick. All right. 
Um, but then I thought about it, you know, like hard times are really not anything new for most of us. I don't know if you guys, you know, grew up in a situation that was difficult, if your childhood was difficult, but most of us have been through hard times. Most of us have dealt with, you know, adverse circumstances. And even if your life was perfect, or you didn't have any tragedies or you had to get over, you can look back historically and I bet you your ancestors did. <laughs> I bet you somebody in your family did. You know, um, you know, I think about all of the trauma that my ancestors had to go through in order to just live life. And so I know that it is possible to overcome extreme circumstances. Things are hard for us right now. Most of us are very comfortable. Like the hardships that our ancestors faced, we have no, those are those were hardships. What we're facing right now, just being told to stay in your house, watch TV, stay home, spend time with your kids. Like this is not hardships. This is inconvenience. This is inconvenience for most people. Um, and so what do we need to stay focused and motivated? We need that discipline. We really need that discipline. All right. And the discipline is where our perseverance comes in. The discipline is where the sacrifice and the hard work and the mental, um, the mental strength to get through being canceled, you know, to get through having to drop, not drop out of school, but most, most of us, some, we're not in nursing school right now. We can't go to our classes or we're trying to do this thing online or we're stuck in the hospital because we're sick. You know, these are things that mentally you have to get tough for mentally you have to prepare for. And so you need discipline. And so the discipline simply is allowing you to understand that choosing what you want most is more important than what you want right now. And so it allows you not to focus on what's happening at this very moment. It allows you to look at the bigger picture of where you will be when your opportunity comes, okay? It, it allows you to, to, to understand that any bad time you have in your life is temporary because all things are temporary. And so right now, we can't take our test right now, and that's temporary. And right now, we're, we're studying together online because we can't go to a class. That's temporary. And so what we have to understand, people are getting their nursing license during the coronavirus. We have nursing students passing every day with that 60 exam, 60 question exam. People are taking the 60 questions, getting their license, taking the 60 questions and getting their license. And so that fact is not changing. It is very possible for you to become a nurse right now. All right. Um, but if we focus on our, our setbacks, I can't test. Testing center is down. I'm tired. I don't feel like studying. You know, I don't want to invest, uh, you know, whatever have you. Right. Whatever have you. Then we'll lose sight of our big goal. OK, which is despite everything else, 2020 is still our year to get our license. It doesn't matter what everything else is, what everything else is happening. I cannot leave this year without getting my nursing license. And I want that to be, I want you to take ownership of that. Okay. Every day you have to remind yourself, look at yourself in the mirror and say, I am getting my nursing license. This is my year. I'm not letting anything stop me. It doesn't matter if my test was canceled. I'm getting my nursing license. I'm not going through this in 2021. I'm not doing this. And I love you guys. I love y'all. But a lot of you guys, I don't want to see you again next year. I want a whole new group of Remart nurses to encourage and motivate. But we got to get to the next level, okay? And, you know, people are finding that, hey, if they canceled your exam, maybe there's another one two days later. Or maybe there's another one, you know, a, a week later. And so that just gives you more time to prepare. That's all. It just gives you more time to prepare. And so it's a beautiful thing. And um, we, we just have to, we just have to keep that positive mindset. So one way that I'm trying to help you guys is to allow you more time to study those difficult subjects. And so we will be studying pharmacology for Remar Nurse University.
coming at you this month, every Monday. Oh my goodness. Every Monday from May 18th through June 8th. And I might even have to extend that date into June even some more. I'm not sure. Okay. Okay. Um, but um, anyways, this is the event of events. Sign up for it. Let me show you where you can sign up for it for those who are just joining me. If you have not, you're going to miss out. I promise you, you're going to be mad at yourself. Okay. The website is, here we go, remarnurse.com forward slash R-N-U. R-N-U. All right. So this is the way that we will be going over the medications. All right. The nervous system. And I know it just looks like, okay, we're just going to hit these medications, but no, we're going to do an in-depth review anatomy included. All right. The workbook for this <laughs> Remar Nurse University is 50 pages, literally 50 pages deep. And this is a free event. You guys, you don't have to pay for this. So don't miss out on it. Sign up. I will be sending out. I will be sending out the workbook this week. So if you um, sign up, you are going to get a welcome email, but I will be sending that out this week. Okay. So look out for it. I am excited for you guys to get it, print it out, have it with you. Remar Nurse University, I will be talking about this over and over and over and over again because this is an all new event. You guys know when I do Remar Nurse University, I'm typically repeating events and subjects and things. And I'm teaching like, you know, people want to learn about EKGs and prioritization. But this time it's brand new and I'm excited. And I picked the most difficult subject <laughs> to do. So it's a challenge for me as an instructor. So I don't want you guys to miss it. Also, if you sign up for a Remar Nurse University and you're studying outside of the U.S., you're in the Philippines, you're in Malaysia, you're in Saudi Arabia, you're in Canada, I will also um, send you information for another event that I'm doing with worldwide health staff. This is uh, myself and then the uh, CEO of them, Mr. Ron. Everybody say hi to Mr. Ron. He is super awesome. He is going to help you if you are an international nurse and you want to come here to work. This is my major partner that um, I am recommending to you guys who are outside of the US. So I will sign you up for another event that I'm doing and it's an NCLEX review. So you will really enjoy it if you're outside of the US, okay? Um, pharmacology, again, you guys, I really enjoyed my study session with you today. It was a great time. We had about 800 nurses come up on Monday Motivation. And so every week, shout out to Team Remar, helping me work so hard to make sure that everything gets out. Yes, the books are still going out. We are still working very hard to make sure that you guys get your VT workbooks. When you order, when you sign up, get started in the Before the Books Arrive section as you wait for this workbook, but they're going out. We also have the quick facts. We have first shift. Um, so remarnurse.com, remarnurse.com is where you can find all of the information, the products, everything like that. Um, but no guys, as long as I'm able to come live to you, I will come live to you. I am not cutting off any of our correspondence. And that's why I feel so blessed because I'm able to bring these classes to you. Um, before I go, were there any questions about anything else before I go? Yes, I, the questions I get also are, is the PN standard changed? The NCLEX PN standard, has that difficulty level increased? It was supposed to increase, right? Um, has it increased? The answer is yes. You guys that are taking the NCLEX PN, you will be taking the um, more difficult, all right, statistically more difficult exam. So the coronavirus did not stop that from taking place. You will be taking that exam. But remember, um, you will see a reduced number of questions. So the minimum that you will see is one is 60, 60, 60, 60, whether you're RN and PN. Also, uh, people ask me, how long will this last? 
the reduced questions. Uh, the last date that I heard from um, the NCBSN was July 4th. So up until July, this will absolutely be in place. Now, um, will it happen after that? Well, I'm, I'm waiting just like you. I don't know. Okay. Um, can African nurses take place? Yeah, African nurses can take part in my international nurse review. Absolutely. Okay. Um, okay. Yes. So if you need to, uh, if you need to have any info, like if you have questions about anything particularly, anything like that, please email support at remarreview.com and we can look at your situation specifically. The uh, email address is support at remarreview.com. Is the book in the BT file now? Okay, nope. The workbook is coming out this week. So if you sign up for the event Monday evenings, we're looking at 8 p.m. Eastern time for Remar Nurse University. So when you sign up for it, you will get a schedule and you will get um, like a calendar schedule of what time every class will start, okay? All right. And there's a link on our website for Remar Nurse University as well. So if you go to remarnurse.com, you will see it too. All right. And then the international nurse event. If you guys just sign up for Remar Nurse University and put that you're an international student, then I will sign you up for the international nurse review. Okay. So if you put yeah, you're from Africa, you're in uh, Cameroon, like wherever you are, just put it on here. And we will we will get you signed up for that. Okay. Um, the VT extension is sixty nine dollars. Okay, sixty nine dollars for an additional thirty days. And if you see a different price or if you don't know how to get that price, just email us. Okay, email us. We are happy to help you with your virtual trainer. All right. And yes, I am excited about the pharmacology review, too. I really think it's going to be a game changer. Uh, I learned so much just preparing it and doing the questions. All of the questions are brand new. So you guys will be Puerto Rico. Absolutely. You guys will be uh, very happy when you get that workbook. And again, it should be I'm finished with it. We just have to do some editing. So it should be out to you guys this week. And then the event starts on the 18th. So you have plenty of time to, you have plenty of time to um, print it out. You got to print it out. You have plenty of time to put a folder together. All right. So um, any, so anything that you have regarding your personal VTs, um, just go ahead and email us. And if you already signed up for RNU, don't worry about it if you're an international nurse, because we, um, we will send you out an email link to sign up for the interna international nurse review. All right. All right. And so don't worry about that. And if you feel like, oh, I didn't put, um, I would have put, I didn't put anything that said of international, go ahead and send us a link. Um, go ahead and send us an email and we'll put that you are international. We'll put you in there. Somebody says, I need help with my T's exam, but appreciate any thoughts or advice. Hey, we do have a product for T's. All right. So if you're a new nurse and you haven't gotten into nursing school yet, we have quick facts for T's and it's a great book and it will help you prepare for that nursing entrance exam. OK, so I'm proud of you for wanting to be a nurse. We have all different levels of nursing students here. So check out remarnurse.com and you can get your T's quick facts. All right. And OK, so. And even if you're in the UK, go ahead and sign up. All right. OK, guys. So I had a wonderful mon Monday session with you all. All right. And I just want to say that everything that's going on, if nobody told you this, you know, I love you guys. I think you are amazing and special. And I cannot wait to see what you bring to the nursing profession. I am so Looking forward to seeing a whole, a whole new generation of Remar nurses. Last year we had so many nurses pass, and we did some amazing things for them. But I know with this Remar Nurse University, I know with this Remar Nurse University, um, we will have um, an amazing time. And I'm getting, I'm getting Mark, I'm getting him all geared up to do uh, a faith over fear, okay? <laughs> a faith over fear 
doing R and U. So hopefully we'll be able to get him to do that for us. And we'll just have a great time. Remar Nurse University, if you guys never experienced it before, we have thousands of nurses online at the same time. And the conversations are all, they're all amazing about NCLEX stuff. So you learn a lot, not only from me, but also you learn a lot from the Remar nurses who participate. Okay. So in a couple of weeks, we will be able to begin. And for those of you who are testing in May, June, July, this will be very helpful to you. So at the end of the day, guys, we want you to pass. We always say this, I can, I will, and I must pass NCLEX. I can, I will, I must pass NCLEX. See you later, guys.